Russell Gahagan from Russell's Fishing Tech here. Just wanted to talk a little bit about an item that we use out here on the Great Lakes salmon and trout fishing called a slider, or it can also be used as a stacker. I'll show you the, the primary setup here, um, which is a piece of monofilament. I prefer 20 pound. Um, you can use anything from probably 17 all the way on out to uh, uh, 25 if you'd like. Totally depends on your personal preference. Um, and basically, as you can see, it's kind of like a wingspan length, which for me is probably about six feet. Uh, and I think that's kind of ideal. And on one end, we got a, a snap. And on the other end, we got a, a snap swivel. Um, you can put a snap swivel on both ends, kind of however you prefer it here. But basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna put one out as a slider right now. So we got a downrigger set here right now, I think to about 51, nope, set to 65. So this downrigger is down, it's got a uh, flasher fly on it, set down to 65. We've got right here this uh, slider setup that Matt was just getting ready to rig up and put out. He's got a Moonshine Hot Lips on there, Hot Lips RV he wants to put on. So we're going to run this as a slider and what that means is this is going to free fall, slide up and down the line. It's basically going to stop at the bow in the line and the bow is generally down about halfway. So I'm going to estimate that this bait's going to be down around 30, 32, 33 foot, somewhere around there. So all I'm going to do is grab this downrigger rod here and just let some line out like that so it's easy to handle. Give it a little line here and I'm going to take the snap swivel end that it does, does not have the lure on it like this. And I'm just simply going to put that through the line like that, close that snap swivel up, grab my lure and I'm going to throw it in the drink. Just like that. Now that lure is going to slide down as I said. I can see the spoon back there. It's going to slide down. I'm going to go right back and tighten up my downrigger setup here now. And now we've got we've got a bottom bait here, uh, which is a flasher fly down about 65 on the rigger. And we got a, a bait that's going to slide up and down the line approximately halfway down. Now the other option you can do is what I talked about before, which is what's called a stacker. And what a stacker is, is it, it's that exact same setup you put a rubber band around the line and then attach the snap swivel through the line and through the rubber band. And what that does is that keeps that lure, that spoon, in one place. What I usually like to do is separate my lures by about 10 to 15 feet. So if I was going to do that, I would hook my, my bottom bait on the downrigger ball like normal and I would let it down 15 feet. And then I would have did the same thing I just showed you except use a rubber band so that I can Put it through the main line, put it through the rubber band, close the snap swivel shut, throw it in the water, and now you'll have a bottom bait down 65, and I'd have another bait down 50. So what happens is, depending on if you know where the fish are, if they're in one section of the water column, 10, 15 foot section, and you really want to cover that, then the stacker works great. If they're spread out throughout the entire column like we're seeing today, then the slider works good. Good luck, have fun fishing.